Hello, fabulous friends and fans. Welcome to your horoscope for the week of December 7th, 2014. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. This week, the sun will meet Mercury in the sky. Now, these planets do this quite a bit, actually. They do this from time to time because Mercury is never more than two signs away from the sun, travels around the sun quite frequently. And so it's not that uncommon for them to actually meet and share the same space in the sky. And so the week starts off with this energy. I really like these moments because it suggests to me ideas, light bulbs going off. It suggests to me fresh perspectives as well. And so we are granted many moments of these, a way of looking at things differently, a way of talking about things differently, and a way of actually allowing new information to find us and to reach us that allows an important shift to take place, that allows important changes to take place for us as well. What we have happening this week as well is Jupiter will be stand still in the sky and then begin to travel backwards or rather appear to travel backwards in the sky beginning retrograde and will remain retrograde until March and so this is a time when and when any, when any planet does go retrograde it is a time when we are asked to take that very energy that that planet represents and turn it inwards and so Jupiter is about expansion. It's about opportunities and possibilities. It's also about spirituality and being plugged into source, allowing something bigger than you to guide your life as well. And where it is that maybe we might have been getting in our own way of allowing the greatest blessings and opportunities and forward progress to come forward, now we're going to ask ourselves what needs to change within us so that life can deliver more abundantly to us, a greater abundance that we would like. And so this to me is a really great opportunity. Do watch what takes place this week because this is when Jupiter is at its most potent energy, when he's standing still and preparing to and just begins to change directions. That is when his energy is most potent. Since the middle of this year, we have had, we have had Jupiter moving through the sign of Leo, as I spoke about in the Jupiter special horoscopes. Please do have a look at that because whatever area it was that I talked about in that video for you based on your sun, moon, or rising sign, those lessons, those areas, those blessings in life are going to be amplified this week as Jupiter stands still in the sky. And so this is a time to watch that video again on the one hand, but also it is very much about you looking at where it is that blessings are flowing and where maybe they could be flowing that much more. And it's also a time to consider that while we like to think about Jupiter as this, you know, sort of elevated, all these great things start coming our way, we make great things happen, which is awesome, okay? But the thing is, as I said, Jupiter's also about being plugged in. There's a very uh, sort of ephemeral, if not esoteric quality that comes about with Jupiter. And this is, as Jupiter turns retrograde, this is our chance to connect with that very motivation as well. What we also have happening this week is Venus will move into the sign of Capricorn. I personally love this. I love uh, Venus moving into Capricorn because Venus in Capricorn is um, a very sort of classic take on beauty. And the thing with Venus in Capricorn, it's been described as a fine wine. It gets more beautiful, better tasting in the case of wine, um, the more uh, it's aged. And so where we look at Venus in Capricorn, it really becomes about a beauty that is more mature as well. And so this tends to be a time collectively when we start sort of holding up role models in terms of celebrity, um, role models who maybe are a little bit older than 22 and saying, wow, that person looks amazing. That person has such beauty and that person looks better than ever. These are the types of things we're gonna start hearing even more 
about um, celebrities on a collective level, but also on an individual level, it's about us. It's about us seeing our own um, beauty increase the older we get, the more experiences we gain as well, and reaching a deeper level of acceptance with exactly where we are. I know I've spoken to a lot of women that there tends to be this, and yes, it's Venus, and yes, there's a strong connection to femininity, but this is ultimately about beauty and about love and having a more mature understanding of love as well. But just thinking about it more on sort of an immediate, more superficial level, if I may, because Venus can be a little superficial at times, um, what is really interesting about this energy is that, um, you know, I've spoken to a lot of women, you talk to a lot of women, especially any time, Personally, I have had a milestone birthday um, and other women as well have had milestone birthdays. There's always sort of this moment, this this conversation that happens around, uh, you know, the first time somebody calls you ma'am or that transition between being this, you know, very young person with a youthful type of beauty and moving into a different understanding where at first it may take you a little bit aback. If you're very strongly identified with your physical form, then yes, it can be a bit of a transition. It can be a little bit difficult. However, there does come a point when, and again, I've spoken to so many women about this, where it comes to a point when it doesn't bother them anymore. It's like, yeah, you know, I'm not 22 anymore and it's okay. There's still beauty going on here. There's still something fabulous going on here, which I think is so true regardless of where you are. And if you are 22 or younger or older, um, certainly, you know, rock your individual fabulousness. But this is sort of a time when we're able to do just that. We're able to approach our own beauty, our own fabulousness with a greater maturity. And that maturity ultimately is also about acceptance. That's also a big marker of maturity. This is also a time when Venus, goddess of love, this is also a time when we're more interested um, in partners and in sort of having interactions that are a little bit more traditional, partners that look like they're much more likely to be stable uh, and long-term as well. These are the types of attractions and types of things that some of us will be thinking as we move around the world. And especially those of us who are single, those of you out there who are single, meeting new people, these are going to be the types of interesting considerations that start arising for you as Venus moves into the sign of Capricorn. Finally, in the late part of this week, we are going to have... Um, the weekend with a beautiful conversation between Mercury and Jupiter. And so this should really allow sort of really expansive and wonderful conversations to take place, conversations that enliven, that enlighten, that um, inspire a sense of spirit, inspire a sense of what could be, of possibility, of opportunity. And it ultimately does come down to words. It is words that play out very powerfully now and words that demonstrate just how much more it is that we could be if we allow those words to reach into our hearts. Well, thank you so much for watching. I'm so uh, very grateful for this moment with you. My hope always with these horoscopes is that they in some way provide you with an omen. I love your interactions. Please do keep them coming on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, my website, NadiaShaw.com, and of course the YouTube comments. Thank you so much for the positive energy that you send my way. Thank you for your amazing questions as well. And uh, I'm so looking forward to sharing a crop of new videos with you coming up very shortly where I answer even more of those questions as well, as well as other stuff that I'm working on. So excited to launch very, very soon. I promise very soon they are coming out and uh, or coming up or being announced new offerings uh, for you. Some of you out there do ask me questions that are a little bit more personal that have to do with your own circumstances. I thank you so much for your trust. If you do have more personal questions and would like me to look at your birth chart, please do consider a personalized horoscope where I can do just that. Um, but again, my hope with these videos is that they do provide you with an omen that you need to remind you that your life is moving you towards greater love and greater wisdom as it is for all of us as part of a greater mystery. So how all this wonderful celestial things happening this week is speaking to you and your sign is coming up right now. 
Hello, fabulous Aries. This week with Mercury and the sun meeting in a part of the sky for you that has to do with truth and your personal search for truth, this is very likely going to be a time when you are going to have some kind of conversation, in some cases maybe an inspired conversation, that helps you to consider other perspectives and other ways of seeing the world. So this really is about expanding your world view. Um, and you can do that in ways that don't necessarily involve mind altering substances. You'd be surprised, but yes, there are ways to make that happen. And ultimately it has to do with choosing how much are you going to allow yourself to consider other perspectives and to access other forms of energy? What kind of energies do you want to be riding? And if you choose to ride an energy that ultimately is about expanding your perspective, what you know as truth, allowing yourself to consider viewing the world through a different lens, you're going to find yourself attracting just that kind of opportunity. For some of you out there, you may actually end up meeting somebody and finding a genuine connection with somebody very different, whether it's culturally in terms of their background or their language or their religion, somebody very different than you've known before. Hello, fabulous Taurus. This week we have your ruling planet moving into a part of the sky for you that has to do with vision. And so this is when your understanding of yourself and your vision for your life starts to change and your understanding of what you need to do and what you need to put into place so that you can gain and you can reap greater rewards further down the road. And that's very much going to be the consideration. I actually see you sort of doing a little bit, especially around the middle of the week, a little bit of scrambling where you're saying to yourself, do I need more education? Do I need to know more? Do I need another credential? What do I need to do? Um, what is it that I really want? Do I need new experiences? sort of asking yourself this and going on a little bit of a, you know, sort of a internet search, if you will, and surprising yourself by actually being on this internet search and considering uh, what it is that maybe you need to know more of. But I do think that you're going to find that you are at your best when you know that you are able. When you know and you are in that space of your own truth that you are worthy and that you are able to accomplish the things that you desire to achieve, when you're in that space, you will find that the pathway becomes that much more clearer and what it is that you actually need to do becomes that much more clearer as well. But I do think that this is going to be a great time for you uh, to think about how it is that you can go about and actually know more while enjoying the process as well. Hello, fabulous Gemini. This week ends, or the later part of the week rather, has a beautiful conversation taking place between Mercury and Jupiter. Now, I really like this for you. I've actually been thinking about you, Gemini's, and the reason is because last week, at the beginning of the week, we had this conversation happening between Mercury and Neptune that wasn't necessarily the easiest. It wasn't about, or rather, it was sort of a, an environment that would allow um, sort of getting the wrong perspective or, or getting the wrong impression at the very least to happen became that much more likely, or at least it was a climate that would allow something like that to come about more uh, easily and not necessarily feel very good or very comfortable, not necessarily an impression that you would necessarily want. And that's why I think that this is going to be such a good time for you. And especially as we move later into this week, it's almost as if the tough stuff that happened for you last week now will start to pay off a little more and a little more. You're going to start to feel like you've hit a stride. You're going to start to feel like you've hit a little bit of a flow as well, where you are feeling more in your element, but also you are feeling like the impressions you are getting are supporting something that you like very much, supporting something that allows you to feel that you're able to bring forward the right words at the right time, connect with the right people, and allow you to feel that you're able to actually attract in a way that feels very easy and attract more of what you want especially in terms of the types of relationships you want. At the very least, at the end of the week, it does look like if you are in an established bond, you are going to have a very nice moment with your partner. And if you're not, 
it is going to be in the later part of the week that you are going to find yourself uh, very likely um, being the source of someone's adoration. Hello, fabulous Cancer. This week we have got um, some really important energy, some really interesting energy taking place for you financially speaking, taking place for you in the workplace as well, some really fortunate energy playing out there. Now, that on the one hand, when I look at that, that to me is just a prosperity, abundance, it's good. It really is about you sort of feeling a sense of uh, connection and communication and feeling a sense like you're, you know what to do and you're in a groove that you like very much. You add to this the fact that Venus is moving into your opposite sign, something I spoke about in the December horoscopes. You add to this fact that I do think that this to me suggests that you are going to find yourself able to that much more easily and that much more quickly um, not only understand what it is that you can do to um, positively influence any given situation, but also you're going to find yourself better able to understand how you can positively influence in romantic situations as well. So all around strong indicators of prosperity happening this week, strong indicators of love starting to flow your way that much more easier happening for you now as well. Hello, Fabulous Leo. This week we have got Jupiter in your sign speaking in supreme harmony with Mercury. Now, I absolutely love this for you because it does suggest that on the one hand, I do think you are going to be at your flirty best. So lots of Leos out there getting their flirt on certainly this week. But I also think that this is going to allow you to just say the right thing at the right time that has um, you winning in some way. And that's what I see playing out here. Now, I'm not one necessarily for, and, and you may know if you've been watching me for a little while now, I don't often tell people best lottery dates and things like that. But I gotta say, especially as you move towards the end of the week, if you have a dollar to spare, um, and if you are walking by a particular lottery place that sort of inspires you or piques your curiosity or has something really interesting in the video in the window, this may be a time to actually put that dollar down and buy that lottery ticket. There's lots of lucky energy for you, especially where it comes to things like numbers and where it comes to things that are involved in commerce okay so this is actually you like buying something at a store or cash register that's the type of luck i'm seeing with you um the other thing though and i often say this and i gotta say this this time as well especially since venus is moving into capricorn also i am very much of the belief that um if you're meant to win you will win it should never feel like you are betting something that you can't lose. It should always feel like it's no big deal whether you lose that money or not. It should feel that way. Whatever it is that you bet should feel a little bit like you have so much of it that it's okay, you can take this. And the main reason for that is because you want to stay in an energy of abundance. It's when you go into an energy of lack and putting so much down that um, you don't help yourself, especially if you're doing something like placing a bet. However, having said that, a smart bet placed that feels fun and feels right and just for the act of doing it, just on a lark, just to do it, may end up paying off for you very, very well. The other way that this could play out is with your own instincts. I often like to say as well, if you bet on yourself, that is a very valuable bet to make as well. And I think you're going to find your intuition leads you to the right decision at the right time that could leave you feeling by honoring your intuition. You could be on the other side of that moment feeling very lucky, whether it's lucky because of what you gained or lucky because of what you dodged. Either way, trusting your instinct will lead you to some very good places and very likely places that create greater prosperity for yourself. Hello, Fabulous Virgo. This week we have got your ruling planet speaking in supreme harmony with Jupiter. Now, Jupiter is traditionally the ruler of your opposite sign. 
So you look at this and there is right there, just on the surface, a connotation there to love and to partnership. And to me, this suggests having a really nice conversation with a partner. Now, this conversation, if it takes place on home turf, so if it actually takes place in the context of your home, makes it that much more likely to be that much more fortunate and that much more awesome for you as well. What I really like about the sky for you now is that there is this easy energy playing out where you feel a sense of support and it doesn't even necessarily have to be that anyone's making this, you know, very outward statement or saying anything very clearly. Um, but rather it is what spontaneously come that arises that allows that feeling of being understood and being supported and having somebody there with you have a connection with allowing that feeling to come forward. Those of you not in any kind of partnership, romantic or business or otherwise are still going to find this a time when people, people have a way of showing up the most uncanny time to deliver some very good news. And that really is key here. People that you already have strong connections with delivering good news in moments when you least expect it. Hello, fabulous Libra. This week, your ruling planet will change signs moving into a part of the sky that has to do with home and it has to do with your own fortress of solitude as well. Now, when I look at this type of sky playing out, it does suggest to me that you will be wanting to, on the one hand, spend more time at home, wanting to spend more time on your own as well. And there's a very strong indicator here that you're very likely going to be feeling more comfortable on home turf as well. So I think that there's an element playing out here where you want to make your home more beautiful, make it a more inviting place, if only to you, um, and make it a place that starts to appeal to you, at least on a very aesthetic level, starts to appeal to you that much more stronger. But it does look like you are going to be connecting with home and people of home. This is also holiday season getting into high gear. And I do think that for some of you out there, I do see you spending time with people who are very familiar to you, whether they're people who are family or family of your choosing. There's going to be a strong move for you now to actually connect with these people that matter to you. And in the process, this week, this energy starts, but really is going to take on greater and greater importance as we move forward into this month. Because if invitations do come up, I would invite you to take them um, for the main reason that you are going to be on the one hand, seeing things more lovingly. But on the other hand, what I really like about uh, this week for you is that you are really preparing for a major shift that's coming up just a little bit further into this month where the universe is really going to help you to understand a past situation that maybe was kind of difficult and troubling, help you to see it with a whole other light and a light that really frees you. So I think that intuitively you're going to start feeling like something good is coming up and that alone is going to ensure that it moves closer to you. Hello, fabulous Scorpio. This week we have got some amazing occurrences taking place. On the one hand for you, I think about Jupiter. Jupiter being at the very top of your sky right now, having to do with career blessings, Jupiter standing still and beginning to go backwards. Now I look at this for you and I think about how um, on the one hand, for some of you, this is going to be very literal. It's going to be about career. It's going to be about achievement and accomplishment. And wherever it is that you have felt that you can't sort of break past a certain ceiling, this is going to be your chance to examine what's going on within you and to ask yourself if you really want that thing that you're trying to achieve. Is it worth actually going for? Do you actually want that? What is it that you're actually trying to break through into? What do you think it's going to get you? And also there's an element here of you looking at what needs to adjust within you as well so that you can achieve something even greater that you can be proud of as well. For others of you, this is going to play out in terms of life purpose. And I think that in that case, this becomes that much more important a week for you. If you're one of those people 
who likes to reflect, who likes to check in with yourself and align yourself constantly with a higher purpose for your life, this is going to be a time when you do just that. This is going to be a time when you're looking within, asking yourself some very important questions, considering just what direction it is that you want to go, just what it is that you want to do. And from that space and from that understanding, you are going to find that there's a flow that comes about for you now, but it's a very internal process. It's an internal shift. And I think you're going to find that once you allow yourself to experience that just a little bit, allow yourself to consider what do I really need to feel like I'm living true to my purpose? Almost instantly you will attract an interaction or conversation that helps you clarify just what it is you're going for that much more. Hello, fabulous Sagittarius. This week we have got Mercury in your sign speaking in harmony with Jupiter, your ruling planet. Now, I absolutely love this for you because it suggests to me that you are going to be walking a path that feels very much in alignment with what it is that you're meant to do. So there's an element here of you kind of being in your element, of you kind of being in your zone and being able to express that very easily to the people around you and being able to see that in the people around you as well. I think that this is going to be time of some very fascinating conversations that are going to take place for you. Some conversations that at the very least are going to clarify your direction and what you want and what you're going for and what matters to you that is going to help you to make very clear just who it is that you are now and what it is really that you are building towards. And that's what I really like about this week is that it opens up for you a new source of a new vision rather of the future that you can be enthusiastic about an idea that is the source of great enthusiasm is what presents itself to you now. Now, if you can cherish that and hold that, you are going to find that that idea grows and really will take on a life of its own a little bit further down the road. Hello, fabulous Capricorn. Well, this week Venus moves into your sign. I did talk about this at length in the love focused horoscope for your sign for this month for the December video. So you may want to have a look at that as well. But I do think that this is at the very least going to lend itself to a very nice shift in energy. There's a greater level of acceptance. There's a greater level of appreciation as well. And just a greater ease with which you're able to bring forward things within you that you like, your charming best, if you will. And what we also have happening this week that I really do like for you so much is just a feeling that karma is on your side, that karmic blessings are on your side as well. And as I look at this week for you, I think that you're going to find these karmic blessings may, for some of you out there, actually be financial. And so there actually might be some sort of financial reward, a check that comes through, a bonus, a commission, or something that comes through now that allows you to feel richer, that is actually based on work or efforts that you made a very long time ago. This really is about you acknowledging that the universe wants you to know that you are very well provided for and that you're also very well cared for as well, especially on an emotional level where I think there's going to be an abundance of emotional support that shows up for you now as well. Hello, fabulous Aquarius. This week we have got Jupiter in your opposite sign speaking with Mercury and Mercury currently is in a part of the sky for you that is considered your home, if you will. So it is the house that you rule for astrology students out there. And it is a part of the sky that the best of you seems to come forward that much more easily. And so what I really like about the sky for you on the one hand is just romantically speaking, this is a really great time 
to connect with your partner on a mind level. Now, something that I actually shared uh, recently and have been sharing recently, given the sky in the month of December, I'm not sure if it was in last week's horoscope or for video scope rather, or it was the monthly horoscopes, but I do remember very recently saying um, that for air signs, they really fall in love with their best friend, somebody that they feel they can hang out with, that they can talk with, um, that they can just share with. And this is such a time. This is a time when you may find yourself feeling like you are in love with your best friend. Now, this can be a romantic love, okay? So if you're in an established partnership, this can really feel like, wow, I'm with somebody who really understands me, especially as we move towards the end of the week. I'm with someone who really understands me. I can talk to this person, consider their perspectives, feel heard, and just enjoy their company as well. But for others of you, this might actually be um, a business partnership as well, where you feel really understood, like your ideas are valued, your creative ideas are valued. What it is that you desire to do is appreciated as well. And all of that is coming forward and all of that is coming together for you very nicely as well. A really great time for you to sit down one-on-one -on -one with somebody and just brainstorm ideas. Think about what you could do. Think about what you want to do and allow that to flow forward that much more easily. So make sure you have a pen and paper in hand, especially right about now, because I think some of the ideas you come up with are some that really um, you could run with and create something together a little bit further down the road that leads to a great amount of prosperity and leads to a sense of dreams coming true in the fullness of time. Hello, fabulous Pisces. This week we have got your ruling planet speaking with Mercury, rather your ancient ruling planet speaking with Mercury. Now, I absolutely love this for you for a few different reasons. One reason is the fact that Mercury is moving through the very top of your sky, having to do with career and life purpose as well. And as I consider this, I do think that there is a very powerful alignment taking place for you in the work sphere and in the sphere that has to do with how conducive is that environment to actually achieving the things you most desire to achieve for yourself and in your life. Now, there's that element playing out, and then there's also an element playing out that has to do with life purpose, just what are you doing here? And I do think that you, as you go about your day, are very likely to, whether in the context of the workplace or in the context of participating in your daily rituals that you take part in, the things you do regularly, and one of the spaces that you visit regularly, are very likely to attract a conversation that helps you understand yourself and what you really want and what you believe you're meant to do that much more clearly helps you to understand your goals and allows them to come together with a greater flow and a greater ease for you as well. At the very least, I do think that this is a time when an interview situation could go really well, but also what I really like about this, and this is actually energy that you're carrying in from last week as well. And so I believe I said this to you last week as well. Interview situations, boss type interaction situations go very well for you now especially as we get you towards the very end of the week, I do think that is when a very chance encounter with somebody in a position of authority could very well open doors for you in a very quick flash. Well, thank you so much to all signs out there. It'll be a great week. Enjoy.